This is the story of how Jason Robbins came to be a video producer. Jason started off his long media journey in the early 90s. He attended the Recording Arts Program of Canada in Stony Creek, Ontario. After achieving his diploma in studio sound production, he set out doing live sound on a summer maritime tour. That following fall, Jason moved to Montreal and worked as a stage technician at the concert venue club Metropolis. In Montreal, he got into a small video production company called Z Axes. They would produce music videos and 3D animation for the network Much Music. Once a month, Jason would volunteer for various production roles for World Affairs TV News. This news program was broadcast on PBS networks. In the fall of 1999, Jason would go back to college. He would study virtual reality and 3D graphics at NBCC Miramichi. He graduated at the top of his class and earned the principal's honor roll recognition. Jason was also rewarded with a summer job in Ottawa, Ontario. He would spend that summer at the Canadian National Research Council's Information Technology Institute, producing 3D models of satellites for the Canadian Space Agency. As well, Jason evaluated the 3D software, Cinema 4D, for the Ontario School Board. Jason liked Ottawa so much, he moved there the following spring. He would once again go back to doing sound production for the many political and corporate events throughout the capital region. Opportunity would knock once again to bring Jason back to Moncton as a mobile producer for Rogers Television. He would travel the province producing sports, music festivals, community interests, and even a cooking show. Jason then went back to sound and video production and would be the in-house audio video guy at New Brunswick's largest hotel, Hotel Beau Séjour, as well as Moncton's Crown Plaza Hotel. Jason's experience with sound and translation systems would lead him to work for Atlantic Alarm and Sound. There he installed PA and security camera systems in large venues all over the maritime provinces. A few years later, Jason then switched careers to become a laser printer technician for Toshiba, Konica Minolta, and Lexmark brands throughout the maritime provinces. As the world came to a halt in the spring of 2020, Jason found himself upgrading his video skills, software, and hardware. He has been actively producing content to put towards his portfolio and gain experience in every way possible. Jason's home studio is operating under the name, Blue Jay Robbins. You can see recent examples of his work on Facebook, YouTube, and at www.bluejrobbins.ca. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Jason Robbins' story of how he came to be working in video production. Hope to hear from you. Take care. Bye for now.